Good morning. Welcome back to a Tuesday morning here at the U.S. Open of Surfing. Brought to you by Van, stop number six of the World Surf League Championship Tour. We have the top 17 all fighting in the middle of a world title race to take top honors at Surf City USA as they head into the back end of the year. Courtney, she grew up surfing each and every day, taking on her childhood rival in Sage Erickson and Australian Bronte McCauley. Rosie, during the break, Sage got started. That's right. Well, we all know how strong Sage is on her backhand. Good idea to get started early. But that is just what fun memories they must have on this beach of those matchups. Courtney with the windup. Great vertical. Right on the money. Second turn. Looks like she's got her flow. Two powerful hacks on her backhand. And this comes to the part where it local knowledge pays off if it will get a reform she'll make it that one drops her off by the pilings as we take another look rosie what do you think yeah this is a mid-range wave for courtney but a lovely shape on it first turn just not holding back so courtney conlog i love it when someone takes off on their first exchange of a heat and you can just tell their intentions and just where their mindset is at right now courtney just looks intent on a win here so very happy there is like good wave, good condition, and um, yeah, that the girls are surfing today. And you spoke about board uh, choice and equipment. Uh. It was starting and she beat Tatiana, but since then, she's actually had an interesting road. Back to this one with a split peak. Sage out of the left. What she wants to do is get some perfect waves. Bronte just stepping off there. So she ends up going to Indo with her coach, Luke Egan. What an awesome... What an amazing athlete on tour. Courtney had a few years on tour to warm up before she became a serious world title threat. As we watch Sage Erickson now. Two big moves already. End section, nice and tight for a beautiful finishing move. Wow, Sage Erickson bringing the heat. And she's, she's got finished. some room, Rosie. Maybe for the reform. I think I jinxed her there. That thing just ended up going away from her. We catch up to a little. What an amazing athlete on tour. Courtney had a few years on tour to warm up before she became a serious world title threat. As we watch Sage Erickson now. Two big moves already. End section. Nice and tight for a beautiful finishing move. Wow. Sage Erickson bringing the heat. And she's, she's got finished. some room, Rosie. Maybe for the reform. I think I jinxed her there. That thing just ended up going away from her. We catch up to a little rooftop float for Conlog that she can't hang on to. She could go all the way. How'd you like the first turn here? Well, she gets, she does well to negotiate that tricky piece of water. We have seen some surfers get hung up, but that turn right there, that's where the bulk of the points are going to come from. Unfortunately, it doesn't get that inside section, not for lack of trying, but Sage is just, you know, this is just one of these events down with the shifting sand and the banks always changing. Now a little opportunity, Rosie, for Courtney Conlog. Nice hack in the pocket. She'll recover from that one major move. So almost losing the handle off the top of that. Never holding back, going for major moves. Courtney said she loved the format in Ocean. See what the judges are loving on that day. Definitely, and this wave only offering up that one opportunity for a hit, and she's unfazed by these peer pilings. We saw a couple collisions yesterday, but Courtney doing well, and she mentions she's a thinker, Joe. Kelly Fitzgibbons found a formula there, went back to back with her wins. Then Carissa Moore did the same thing with her titles. And now Courtney, back to back bells as we continue on with Sage Erickson. Whoa. Amazing backhand hook. That finishing move is looking polished and she's bringing a little bit extra today. Definitely, I mean, what a way to start in round ones. Let's look at the speed that Sage carries through her turn. Just does so well to get that first turn in really quickly and knows that all the money is coming from that last section. So Sage, wow, just so impressed with the way that she's surfing. Fire, looking at better, a 4-8-3, waiting for scores. Courtney's trying to warm up here. Snap to float combination out the back. Thinking about hunting down a reform. Staying nice and calm. Pushing that board to try to get into this inside corner. She's gone the distance. Winds up for the closeout finish. And she'll stay on her feet. 8.2 on this wave to take the lead. Well, two solid flowing maneuvers. Pretty surprised that Sage only 
got a 5.57 on her last wave, but Courtney does find this inside section, so whittling away at that scoreline, finishes clean, has such a great read on that inside section, it can be so tricky with a And just looking at the previous champs, it's almost every year feels totally different. Tatiana Weston Webb, the defending champ this season of this event. Ooh. Meanwhile, Courtney up and out. Yeah, you can see that southerly sweep just took that wave on a freight train to the pier. Having a look now down the beach, Bronte McCauley, the rookie on tour, sets up that little frontside fade in the pocket. Off the lip this time, a blow tail, which he can't hang on to, and then turned it into a, a true rookie year this year. As we see now, Courtney Conlog. Big backside float and stomps Ooh. it in the flats. One massive move from Conlog. And now she's into a reform just to seal it on the inside. Oh, she needed to ride out of that, Joe. So not getting credit for the climb, but a risky maneuver out the back. Erickson getting down to that peak and she has undisputed right away, plays defense. Bronte's got some room to attempt a big closeout finish. But Courtney's been left alone. Chasing a 6-5-1 as she's winding up for her first move. Onto the lip hook and she can't hang on. Rematch for the final at Oceanside last week. Looks like Erickson with quick payback over her childhood rival with a 7-3-3 and a 5-5-7, but maybe with some of the flashiest moves on the backhand we've seen in a long time. Definitely just brilliant surfing from Sage Erickson straight through to round number three, looking deadly.